Last week, UM dropped one spot on the U.S. News & World Report Best Colleges Rankings. We now sit even at number 48 with the University of Florida, who jumped up one spot this year. It's not really surprising to me because I've always considered them to be pretty much on the same level. I, I find that ranking not quite accurate. Not true at all. I think we have a better education system. We deserve to be above the Gators. I don't understand the rivalry yet. But this week we were redeemed. Well, sort of. <laughs> UM made it to number seven on Playboy's top 10 party schools. I, I don't blame them for ranking us around that. Not really surprising that we're one of the top party schools. Being on that list, it just means that there's stuff going on. It means that there's people willing to have fun. We should be number one for sure. As part of their description, Playboy said the University of Miami has more bikinis, EDM, and free-flowing tequila than Cabo during spring break. But that begs the question, does UM's reputation as a party school interfere with its reputation as an academic research institution? It's just a magazine giving its opinion. It is possible to have fun and still do good in school. When we leave and, oh, I went to UM, oh, that party school, that might be a bad thing or it could be a good thing, not sure. People here are always able to balance the academic with the partying. This, of course, is not the first time UM has been described as a work hard, play hard school. It landed high on BuzzFeed's smartest party schools in the country list in 2013. Nick Sweeter, UMTV.